now let's quickly add our bottom navigation bar to our home screen so after the app bar we can say bottom navigation bar let's give it name as location selection bottom navigation and we will pass to it one thing as a parameter and that will be the context so let's implement this location selection bottom navigation so above the widget build we will receive here context as a parameter return safe area child semantics button true as we will use this whole bottom navigation as a button when the user tap on it of course we will do something but that is for the later videos for now I'll just implement the UI quickly apply some padding as insert start symmetric horizontal will be let's define the size object you will select size now this size basically tell us about the screen width or screen height or you can say the screen size so we will give it name as size screen so what we can do is we can now simply say size screen dot width so whatever the width of the screen is we will take 0.04 percent of it for the horizontal and the height for this will be 62 let's change this to 4 1 child row widget we will display an icon first cupertino icons dot flex circle size will be 36 after it we will display some space with 12 and then you will display text select country or location we'll apply some textile on it color will be colors dot white font size will be 18 and the font weight will be font weight dot w400 then a spacer widget and then circle avatar using which we will display arrow icon arrow forward icon so the background color for this will be color start white for this circle avatar the child icon icon dot this one keyboard arrow right 
color will be color start red ascent and the size will be 26 so now let's just install the app on our phone to see how it looks now we get this error we have to initialize our size screen instance so for that purpose in here on our home screen inside the widget build we can say size screen equals to media query dot of context dot size so first we have to get the screen size okay earlier we forgot to get that size first we just initialize that screen size globally we have to get the screen size as you know that every user when install this app on his or her phone then each phone has its own screen size so that screen size we have to get using this media query dot of context size so we get the size like this so we initialize it with the size so now let's just install the app on our phone and let's see the result so here you can see here is our bottom navigation we have to of course manage the color of it which is light that's why we can't see that now so what we can do here is that in here in our location selection bottom navigation we have to set the color for it and we can do that here you can say color color start red ascent so it will it will have red ascent color and then for the app bar also let's change the color to color start red ascent now let's install the app on our phone So you can see that this is how our app looks now red ascent and red ascent now if you click here then this is the dark theme and this is the light theme which is applied on our main pages main screens of the app excluding the app bar color and the bottom navigation color as we set it uh, manually as you can see that for our app bar it is red ascent and for our bottom navigation we set this default color which is red ascent manually we assign to it the red ascent color